And as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Runa. Go ahead, carve the letter. Suna. It's an Suna. The elves in Flair's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alpine. Get on about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barons. A trip to Alfheim? Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? There's a fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. Right, he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, if you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. If you want to continue exploring, we'll need to remove that log in the river. Before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye. But surely the lad's got more sense than to... Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? Tell that one 
my nut sucker. He owes me one. Fight me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you can make the trip, your goddessness. I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow. But then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm, I don't trust. Well, come on then. Hey, Tyr! Wake up! You got company. Why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You're sure he won't mind? Mind? You'll be thrilled. Joints get gone for two days. You better screw his head back on, and I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> Answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life! You are my son! Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth! The truth is you're being a complete asshole! Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind! He doesn't have any faith in me. It's fine if he keeps secrets. It's fine if Mom did. It is not fine. Her secrets haunt every step of this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother. What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me, at Freya, at Tia. Odin did this to us. What's got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great, I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me! Listen! Zed, let go! What the fuck? Atreus! It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control! Midgard. Keep it coming. You're just helping me stay warm. These things! When did it get so bad out here? The Alpha! Damn! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> At least something out here doesn't want to kill me. I just need someplace warm. Then I can figure out where to go next. Uh, that doesn't look good. What is this thing? Some kind of white? trying to tell me something? First, he thinks I've been to Asgard. Then, lying. Ah! I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! Gotta get out of the cold. Yappa! shelter and then what? Where could I go? If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where Father ends up dead, if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. Be a spy. Find out his plan. Keep control of this. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house. Charlie? No. Charlie! Please. Please! Charlie! Mm. <laughs> hey, big guy. I'm here now. Don't you worry. Get you warm. You're gonna have to stand to let me into that house. Think you can do that? Come on, Charlie. You have to do this. I... I can't help if you don't... Emily! 
Emily! Buddy, I know. It's cold in here. Freya hasn't been checking on you? All right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Valkyrie armor? Does this go with the wings on the wall? From her friend? When did what happen to her? Wow, it's beautiful. Never seen anything like this around here before. From her home in Vanaheim? She must have really missed it. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. You're welcome. Go now. I can't stay. I just can't let my dad die, too. There's gotta be something I can do. Hey, buddy. I think he's here for me. I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him. Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over. Hello? I'm here. Odin? Bird. Is this Asgard? Hey, wait up! The wall! This is Asgard. Hold on! I'm coming! You don't seem friendly. Yeah. <laughs> 
You could have led me around those. Yeah, danger. I know. Got it. I see him. thing I've ever done. That's what it takes to change Father's fate. Hey, Bird! Where'd you go? Hold on! I'm coming! He's gotta find a way through. Out Everything I came to Asphalt for is on the other side of that wall. There you are! How am I gonna stay to Odin? Uh, hi. I came to be your apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I, like, serve you now. Not in a foretold by prophecy kind of way. <laughs> <laughs> the other side of that wall. Wait, how do I get past the wall? I never came up with a mere story about Rainford. The stonemason's son built a flaw into it. He only told Frey about it, and I didn't think to ask. Hold on, how was Frey at the house? Did she move in with us? You know what? Focus, Loki. Outcome. Father would just burn this away with his blade. But what can I do? Huh. Maybe that sigil magic on my bow can help. What did Brock say? Ow! If I could just get that fire to spread to the bramble. <laughs> there we go. Wait, that sounds like people. You need help? You, uh, you look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's... I can see this way, except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? <sighs> nope. Not unless you're an Aesir god, but... I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit! Me too! 
I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The uh, All Father saved us from the desolation, gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, can you walk through walls? Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But... Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long are you stay? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well, this I gotta see. You need help? I appreciate it. But I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. <sighs> Is that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? Odin's raven. You know, from Hugin and Moonin. Pretty good guy. Though, not sure he'll know too much about climbing. Well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. I, you know not to look down, right? I like looking down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Can I use that? I mean, a little ironic is last words, but... What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Hey, you're doing great. You can do it, Loki! Thanks, Gilder. Hope you're right. Here's Temple. Oh. No wonder we couldn't use it to come here. Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now where? Hey, Hoogan. Don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. Why? Up here? I'm coming. Let's get that chain down. <laughs> I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. 
That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. Breathe. And... Yes! I bet I'm past the worst of it now. Or not. Uh, wanna just let me pass through? No? Have it your way. Out up! Get it. Whoa. Okay. These are connected. Yeah, that made sense. I think. Gotta do both sides, though. I can. <clears throat> huh. I don't see any more shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. <clears throat> hey, Hugin. How about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. <clears throat> so? Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb, by himself, all the way up Reimter's wall. <sighs> so, what did Loki- ah! So what did Loki do? He kept climbing. <clears throat> he just kept climbing. His arms hurt, his fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. Loki kept climbing. One foothold at a time. All the way to the top. Uh, 
Nowhere to go but up. Okay, okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. Come on! Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. Hello. Uh, hi. So, what part of the enormous wall made you think, oh, visitors must be welcome? I was sent for, actually, by Odin. The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. <clears throat> then why are you out there, and not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Ah! Oh! Are you finished? <laughs> now, what could Odin... All-Father, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you. That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> think you could pull me up, or...? <sighs> no, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Where are you? Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar? <laughs> the Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. I will be the judge of that. <laughs> this way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Heimdall? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Oh. Done drinking it in already. Cornerstone of civilization in the Nine Realms, not really your cup of tea, I see. Oh, uh, no. It's amazing. <sighs> Just ask your questions already. How do you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and... impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people. Hmm. No. No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> what a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move, and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgard. The 
That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Ghoul Topper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burnt. I outthink them. <gasps> Dominate them fair and square. Whoa, are these all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only... Oh, well, if Skilder told you... Clearly, whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Primther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace? Do you think the Allfather needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the Allfather built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Hey! Whoa! Uh. Hey! Helmets! I brought you a practice demo. I thought we were going to own it! You see, the thing is, you do have to it. So I am not letting you anywhere near the altar. Oh, very nice. Who's that? Guard lost every war they ever fought. That's right. Show me all of your stupid Well, that was boring. Guess who's next? You sure you want to keep up while waiting? Funny thing. I am sure about that. Yes, I am feeling very sure, matter of fact. Oh no! Arrow! How fearsome! Whoa! Oh! How is he doing that? Oh! Not even close! Oh! Oh! That one felt special! Oh, hope that was not the last trick you have! You're not gonna stop me from seeing Odin! You'll be seeing him. From your grave. What? That doesn't even make sense. Oh. <laughs> you How have you survived this long? Ha! That is your big special move. Hilarious. Cowboy, is that it? Is this all you have to show me, Yolton? <laughs> Wow. I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. <laughs> Knock it off. Like it or not. He's all father's guest. But I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. Loki! You made it! 
I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh... I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me. Not yet. But he's got some very big questions. And I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Oh, no, Father. Oh, no. Siafa. Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here. <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think, you know? Hey, I got some places to be. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh. <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, he's not exactly getting an unbiased view. But you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Priest, meest, carry on. Pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trained, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All father. Queen Gana. The Ainhuyar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Huh. Yes, there's a new Valkyrie queen. Great soldiers, these Ainhuyar, but they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon Thinafen, Hrothgar. Moon Thinafen, Form. Moon Thinafen, Tiana. Okay, next up. Ah, the books, good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jurgen, those better not be mushrooms I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Steady there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know. I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erlen, try to stay awake for me. OK. But look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in, a major learning opportunity for both of us. What about my family, my friends? I need to know nobody's going to get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? A truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all going to be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. 
And more importantly, I am not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here. In our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. All right, I'm here. Where is he? He? Oh, he, uh, just over there. Oh, other, sir. <gasps> uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You training pickpockets? You know what, Durlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised on time, on budget, and of course, safely. The dwarves have never let me down, and they're not about to start now. Right? Good. Okay, so. I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes. Guess I could try this on. It has less mud on it anyway. Whoa, I can use this. Huh, nicely equipped. What needs work? Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh-huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Fruit throws, Doctor. Relax. You got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me.
Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. Someone will clean that up. So, uh, what kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, grandfather's study is just down those stairs. So how do you become a Valkyrie? First, I train till I'm the best I can be. Then I wait till grandfather notices. And then I hope he and my dad can convince mom it's okay. You know, my father and I, we encountered a whole bunch of Valkyries. Wait, what? Where? Promise to tell me everything. I promise. Mother, did you meet Loki? Oh, now he's got you involved with this? Involved with what? I'm being friendly. Isn't that diplomacy? You understand who this is, right? What his father did. Why does he want him here? Mom! Come on, you're embarrassing me. We'll talk about this later. You keep discussing this in our earshot. Absolute idiot. I, I must have done something wrong. I, I'll get her again. Do not. not. Sorry about her. I will. Moms, right? So, did you want to look around some more, or do you really need to get to work? Something's different. Someone was trying to poison Thor. <laughs> Please do not involve me in your pathetic attempts to impress one another. Huh? Come on. You haven't had enough Heimdall in your day? Let's go. Listen, whatever Grandfather is having you do, remember, this is your chance to prove yourself. That's all that some of us want. Oh, yeah. I'll try to do some good. Catch you later. Yes, I, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see, the, this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and, and, and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since, huh, who can remember? You, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us to give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here? to give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No, we're more than that. And I found something that proves it. 
What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? 